Hey everyone, it's Jason Dunn here from Digital Home Thoughts, and this is an unboxing and first impressions video of the Dell Vostro V13. Now, I typically don't look at Dell uh, business class notebooks. I'm more of a consumer guy, but the Vostro V13 has a really, really interesting body design, which I think you're going to find pretty compelling. So stay tuned. Let's see what's inside the box. All right, so here's everything inside the box. Uh, the box is just a plain, you know, brown Dell package, so nothing very exciting. Uh, up top here, we'll just take a quick peek inside. This is going to just be the uh, power adapter, and uh, it looks like, yeah, so this is one of Dell's sort of more slender uh, travel power adapters. It is a two-part system, but I really like the fact that this is nice and uh, flat. If you're a business traveler or you do any flying, it's a lot easier to pack, you know, a nice thin, uh, adapter than it is to pack something that's, you know, basically uh, twice as thick. So it's nice that Dell uh, did that. Set that aside here. We have your typical, you know, uh, reinstallation uh, CDs, you know, for uh, Windows 7, warranty support information, some more paperwork, nothing very exciting. Here it is. Here is the Dell Vostro V13. So check that out. That is so nice and thin. I've seen pictures of this, but I've never actually seen it in person. And wow, it is, uh, it's pretty light actually. That is not too bad at all. So let's just uh, take it out of the plastic here. Wow, this is, um, I'm really, really impressed with this, with this body design. Wow, yeah, see, so there it is. So there is the Del Vostro uh, V13 quite thin and quite light it is it, it definitely uh, doesn't have doesn't have a whole bunch of heft here we'll put it down there just for a second and I'll rattle off uh, some of the specifications um, so for th this particular version uh, I bought this from Dell Canada because I'm in Canada and I paid uh, seven hundred and ninety one dollars and seventy cents after you know uh, uh, tax and whatnot uh, the best thing to do though of course is go to uh, the Dell website in whatever country you're in and check out what Dell's prices are Dell's prices go up, down, and sideways depending on, you know, the day of the week, the lunar cycle, and what country you're in. So uh, don't uh, don't post any comments saying, oh, it's such and such, it's more expensive in my country. Just please, you know, go to, uh, go to Dell's website in your own particular country and check out whatever Dell is offering this for. So this is the V13. It has a uh, six cell battery, which is going to be on the back here. Um, oh, actually, no, I take it back. So maybe this is one of the interesting things about this laptop is that it doesn't look like it has a user replaceable battery. That's actually pretty interesting. I did not know that. Uh, this has a, uh, a webcam. I guess I'll just open it up here so we can kind of take a quick peek at it. Uh, not surprisingly, uh, given the name V13, uh, this is a 13 inch uh, widescreen um, display. And um, it, this particular model I have has an Intel Core 2 Duo SU7300. So that is a 1.3 gigahertz um, CPU. And it also has uh, two gigs of RAM, which is uh, a one, one DIMM, meaning there's one memory card slot in here, or a RAM slot. Sorry, there's probably two slots, but one is filled with two gigs of RAM that I ordered. Uh, it's a 13.3 inch high definition LCD anti-glare display. So that's kind of cool. That probably means that the, uh, the screen here is gonna have a bit of a matte finish. And as I look at it, it, it definitely has a bit of a matte finish um, to it. Um, for graphics, it has an Intel GMA 4500. So pretty much not great graphics, but again, this is a Vostro. This is a business uh, laptop. You don't buy this for uh, gaming, that's for sure. The model I ordered here has a 3200 gigabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive. It comes with Windows 7 uh, Home Premium as the operating system. Uh, it has Dell Wireless um, uh, 802.11 BG and N, so it's an Intel Pro Wireless 5100, and it also has uh, Bluetooth inside it, and uh, that is basically about it. So now let's uh, let's close it up here and let's take a look at the particular unit. So again, it's it's really nice and thin. Um, in post-production here, I'll look up the thickness, but I have to think that this is a little bit less than an inch thick. I mean, it's just oh, it's gorgeous, really, really impressive design. And I just got to say, I, I, want, I want to really stress this. This is really impressive design and it's, you know, under $800. And you can even get a cheaper configuration than the one that I ordered. I think it starts at something like $599 Canadian. So super, super impressive that Dell's been able to come out with a really uh, beautiful hardware design and have it not be very expensive. So anyway, along the front here we have an indicator. This looks like it's a power and uh, charging uh, indicator. There's nothing kind of along here. And then we have a headphone jack and a microphone jack uh, front mounted. 
over on the side here, I believe this is an express card slot. Yeah, so that's an express card uh, 34. So that's the narrower of the two. Uh, which is not too bad, although I do kind of wish it was an Express Card 54 because I have an adapter for a compact flash card for my digital SLR and uh, it needs 54, so I kind of wish it was that. And then we have an SD uh, secure digital memory stick card slot here, so that's pretty cool. Then along the back here, we have most of the uh, ports on this thing. So we have a uh, 10100 um, Ethernet port here. We have an eSATA slash USB port here. We have another USB port here. We have a VGA out. And I, I quite like the fact that the VGA out port is uh, configured on the back. You know, this is something that it's a pretty common scenario for business users. You know, uh, you want to have your laptop facing you if you're doing a presentation and you want to have the output coming right out the back. So that's pretty cool. And then this is the, uh, this is the power uh, adapter here that you plug into. And this is a um, just simply an air port uh, to uh, express hot air from the laptop. And then there's really nothing uh, on the back here. And yeah, there's there's really nothing on the back here at all. So it does have a completely internal uh, six cell battery, which means that you're not gonna be replacing it. Kind of an interesting move for, for, from uh, a business user's perspective, because there's a lot of a lot of business users, frankly, that um, you know will travel with an extra battery and they don't get that option. So I'm kind of curious to see you know whether or not people complain about that. I'm not too sure if that's going to be an issue for me. I'm going to use this this product for a little while and uh, kind of check it out. Now, uh, on the inside here, we have this sort of uh, island style keyboard is what this is typically called. We have a traditional trackpad with uh, left and right uh, buttons. The keyboard uh, keyboard feels decent. It feels maybe a little bit mushy, but it's hard to tell until you start using it. Um, again, uh, I love the fact that this is not uh, it's not a French English keyboard, meaning there's the full sh full sized shift keys on the left and on the right. Although the one on the right's a little bit smaller, but I tend to use the one on the left. So I really like that. Uh, no offense to my French Canadian counterparts, but when I'm using a keyboard, I like to have a full sized uh, shift key. So I really like that. It has your typical adjustments up here. There's the um, power button which I will hit and we'll power it up and see if this thing has any uh, juice It might need to be recharged. And then over here we have your typical uh, indicators. Um, and as you can see, it is actually booting up. So there is, uh, just a zoom up here so you can actually see the screen. It's gonna be starting up uh, Windows 7 and of course it's gonna be doing an initial configuration which is gonna take a few minutes. I'm not really gonna be able to do anything until that actually um, comes up, but this has uh, just been an unboxing and first impressions um, overview of the Dell Vostro uh, V13. I do want to point out that there is a higher end configuration than this. The high end config uses a 2.26 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo P7570. Woo, that's a mouthful, but if you're looking for a more uh, high performance version of this laptop. That's the CPU you'd want to get. The high end version also has four gigs of RAM and then it also has a 500 gigabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. So if you're looking for more storage, more power, uh, you can definitely get that. Of course, the uh, price goes up from there. Um, check out the sidebar, you know, for a uh, buy link so you can check out uh, the, uh, the best uh, prices. Although I'm going to be linking to Dell.ca, but again, I want to stress that you want to go to Dell in your own country, uh, the Dell website in your own country and uh, check it out. So that's my first impressions of the Dell Vostro uh, V13. Again, uh, really, really nice design. It's really nice and thin, uh, beautiful, you know, um, finish here. I, I think this is metal. I think this is an aluminum finish. Uh, you can see, interestingly enough, too, how the, uh, the screen isn't all the way back at the uh, hinge although the screen does go back really nice and far, which is, a, which is uh, handy for uh, you know, business users or anyone that likes to uh, use something like this in their lap. You wanna be able to uh, tilt the screen all the way back. So this has been Jason Dunn from Digital Home Thoughts. Thanks for watching my first impressions and unboxing video of the Dell Vostro V13. Please subscribe to our channel uh, and check out the website. Thanks a lot for watching.